How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. We also got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. And you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. Just want to let you know if you're new to this channel, we do this five days out of the work week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, or maybe it was the market conditions. While well, you came to watch this video, plus hear one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. What what do you call a religious person who sleepwalks? A Roman Catholic. Come on, Roman Catholic? Roman. <laughs> but anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is OCGN that ended up having a strong performance today coming near to the close. But before we get into it, of course, we have to cover the agenda. If you're new to this channel, just want to let you know we have timestamps down below in the description to make navigation easier. But if you are a shareholder or you're considering to take a position, I highly suggest you watch the full entire video. So the first thing that we're going to be going over do we have a potential big time catalyst that's gonna be coming out tomorrow? There's gonna to be a big meeting that's going down. I saw this on Reddit and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys in this video for today. So I can't wait to share that update. I'm so excited about it. And then secondly, we're gonna be doing a technical analysis, taking a look at the price action, taking a look at those support levels and seeing how well they hold up. And where do we wanna see OCGN at for tomorrow and as well for continuing this bullish trend that it is on and also looking out for pullbacks, of course. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the most updated short interest information. We wanna know, is there short squeeze potential in OCGN. What is the overall market sentiment? Is it positive or is it negative? Is it getting worse or is it getting better? And then when all of that is done, I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So let's get into it. So what we're going to be going over, like I said, I found this post on Reddit. I'm like, okay, this has to do with the relations of U.S and India in regards to the health cooperation. So let's go over it very quickly. You'll see the image on your screen as well. So a conversation on US-India health cooperation, all right? So who do we have here? So we have Dr. Anthony Fossey, director of the US National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, chief medical advisor to the president of the United States, which we all know already. We also have Professor K. Vikram, hope I had said that properly, Principal Scientific Advisor to the Prime Minister's Office of the Government of India. We also have the Ambassador Tanjarit Singhu Sanhu, Ambassador of India to the United States. We also have Dr. Renu Swarup, Secretary, Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. And we also have Joanna Mercier, who's a Chief Commercial Officer for Sea Lead Sciences. And here comes the big name. What we're all waiting for, who represents one of the biggest companies being talked about a lot on this channel is Dr. V. Krishna Mohan, who is the executive director of Bharat Biotech International Limited. We also have the other two as well, but hey, that's what I really wanted to try to focus on him with Dr. Krishna Mahan. So Bharat Biotech being in talk with Dr. Anthony Fossey. How is this conversation going to go down? Hey, I'm going to tell you right now. If we hear some things that sound very encouraging from Dr. Fossey, because we already know the details about Covaxin, things can get very interesting. We can end up actually seeing some movement in this particular stock. But also on the other side of the spectrum, if he says certain things about, hey, well, you know what? The U.S. doesn't really need extra vaccines or the U.S. is on top of everything. We just want to kind of become a world leader distributing. We know there's a pandemic going down inside of India. We want to help out as much as we can also across the world. We want to know what the initiatives are, how those conversations are going to be going down. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me tell you guys what the date is. I kind of just went over that and tell you the date. So the date is actually for June the 3rd, 2021 at 10 a.m. And this is Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 p.m., which is gonna be IS. I'm, I'm assuming that is Indian time as well. You guys correct me, can correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong on that. So just to kind of go over that, I feel like whatever ends up being discussed is definitely gonna be interesting and it's something to be aware of if you are a shareholder in Ocugen. We already know that Ocugen is relying on Barat Biotech in order for the first initial batch of Covaxin. 
So this is definitely key here. And we also have some updates that are going to be coming in June as far as for the EUA submission. So there's a lot of things that are going on here, but as far as how this talk goes, will be very interesting. And you guys know already, I'll make sure to keep my ears to the ground for any updates, or even if I can get an opportunity to actually catch it. So now that we got that all out of the way, let's get into the technicals and also take a look at the short interest and then I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So we're gonna be doing a technical analysis for OCGN, which ended up having a strong day inside the market today. So it ended up closing at $9.46, being up 10.33%. On the low, it tested $8.03, then on the high, testing $9.00 and 55 cents. So the one of the things that we need to point this out, we point this out in all our videos, we saw that OCGN did a great job continuing to respect the area of support right here at $8. But what was really good to see today that it was able to reach back up to the $9 level. So I'd wanna see this $9 level actually hold. That would be the most ideal situation here. But even if it doesn't, then I'm looking for it to actually hold around this 850 level or above so we can look forward to seeing even more bullish behavior going into tomorrow as you can see how it's lining up with their indicators it is well above the 21 day ema it's well above the 200 and like i was saying in previous videos i'd love to see it recapture right over here at the 100 day which stands at around nine dollars and 70 cents and that's something that we could definitely end up recapturing sometime tomorrow if this bullish trend continues even if we take a look at the rsi down below yes it is getting fairly hot but hey here's my hypothesis here i think with everything going down inside the market with amc and so forth a lot of institutions who have been shorting stocks and especially the biggest ones out there like citadel we know they have positions in this as well they literally have to raise money to cover their positions. So there's a lot of stocks that are actually benefiting and running up because of it, especially when you don't get any news and whatsoever. That's just my hypothesis right there. So let's look forward to seeing that test going into at least $9.70 to reclaim the 100 day come tomorrow. So we're gonna be taking a look at the most up-to-date short interest on Fintel for OCGN. So the short volume ratio is at 30%, and this is taking into consideration yesterday's close which was june the first so what this means is there's some short squeeze potential in ocgn so sharp price action here with a lot of buying pressure and a lot of volume if we look at the short shares availability it stands at two hundred and fifty thousand. and if we look at the short borrow free rate it stands at 4.22 percent taking a look at the history of the short volume ratio ocgn is definitely no stranger being above that 21 percent level but do keep in mind of the fact if a certain catalyst comes out and the stock just ends up going to the moon then shorts are definitely going to be forced to cover their positions and like i said you'll be able to benefit from this big time so for my final thoughts for ocgn definitely no surprises when we take a look at the short interest information it is still showing negative market sentiment but that is okay because we already know if you're in this particular play what to look forward to also taking into consideration of the fact we did have that run-up of course we can have a pullback in the after hours and as well as in the pre-market. And I wanna emphasize this because these are also areas where there can be subject to a lot of heavy manipulation here since the volume is a lot lower. So I wouldn't be placing too much emphasis on that unless there's some sort of a catalyst or some, some sort of news that comes out during these particular times. The next thing is, as far as how this conversation is gonna be going down tomorrow with Dr. Fossey, others, and as well as the, guy, the director from Barat Biotech. I'm just hoping I said that correctly there, but I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out, see what is being spoken. I do believe, hey, things are going to be positive. Things are going to be on the up and up. Things are going to be looking really great here. In regards to the U.S.-India health cooperation, depending on how that event goes, I feel like there could be an impact on the stock for OCGN. Part of the reasons being is whatever Dr. Fossey comes out and he says, 
is definitely going to be carrying a lot of weight here. But I do believe for the most part, it's going to be positive. We've seen Covaxin doing very well in trials and we're seeing the type of technology that it uses in its vaccines. It's something that we're well aware of. It's a traditional method that is being used. And that for the most part, they're also conducting trials in India for younger age groups. So taking all this into consideration and as well as the EUA update, which Brat Biotech has told us already on their official Twitter, which we've shared on this channel already, things definitely look like it's going to be running very smoothly here. If you're in this particular play, I just want to make sure you're aware of the volatility that is in this stock. So if you are going to be investing, just make sure it's not the type of money that you're going to be afraid to lose or you have some sort of an immediate need for. Another thing to take into consideration, if we end up getting some great news again in June, look forward to seeing this stock definitely get close to all time highs here. I could definitely see this occurring. Also, we do know of the fact that the US is getting very tight with their guidelines and taking all of this into consideration and seeing that there's constant communication between India as well as US and as well as Bharat Biotech with the FDA and Oxygen. Things are looking really good and this is the reason why I'm very positive. I'm looking forward to seeing how Ocugen actually turns out, especially sometime in this month when we get the news that we're looking for. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.